I've opened up the document we created in the last video, ODP03, A Simple Doc, Part 1. And I'm going to save this as, File, Save As, and I will call this ODP04, A Simple Doc, Part 2, and save. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the unneeded text boxes that we created in the last video. I'm selecting and pressing the delete key. And again, selecting and pressing the delete key. So now we've got the LibreOffice Impress as our cover slide. I want to add another slide. There are a few ways to do this. One way is to go into Insert, Slide. I can also right click inside the slide pane, New Slide. Opening up the Properties panel, I can right click on one of these, Insert Slide. And also, up in the Presentation toolbar, we have an Insert Slide right there. To remove the slides, we can right click on that and select Delete Slide. To select multiple slides, we can hold down Control and it will select just the slide that we click on. Clicking again without Control deselects everything and only selects the slide that I click on. And if I hold down Shift, it selects both slides and all the slides in between. And again, I can press the Delete key or right click and delete slides. I'm going to add in a new slide and click in to add a title for this slide. Notes about bullets. While I was reading up about presentations, somewhere along the line, I saw some notes about bullet points. They said our bullet points should be short reminders to the speaker of what he or she is talking about. And also, these bullets should be related to the slide title. And lastly, the presenter should explain the bullet points with fun and interesting stories and explanations. I'll add another slide. For the title, I will call this Reasons for Short Bullets. One reason for the short bullet points is it prevents the presenter from reading slides. A quick way to lose your audience is to have your presenter read long sentences straight from the slide. Another reason for the short bullets is this will help keep the audience interest. If the audience starts reading these long sentences, the presenter will soon lose the audience. So keeping the reading to a minimum will help keep the focus on the presenter. I'm going to go back to slide number two. And looking at the bullet points, I'm going to click on them. And then I'm going to select all three and go over to the paragraph. Down below here, we've got some spacing. This is set at 20. I'm selecting it and changing it to zero. That's what no spacing looks like. Now this will be for the spacing above the paragraph. And in this case, each bullet is considered a paragraph. So I'm going to increase the space. And if I do the same thing with this spacing below the paragraph, we don't see much until it gets past the 12. And then it does pretty much the same thing we don't see a whole lot of difference. But if we had other text on the screen, it would make a difference. I'm going to change that back to zero and make this 1.2. If we don't like these bullet points, we can turn them off by clicking on bullets on off. And if we want numbers instead, we'd click on the numbering on off. Clicking this drop down next to the numbering shows us we can make these numbers different. We can make Roman numerals, lowercase Roman numerals, or make them A, B, and C. And we've got different versions of uppercase and lowercase letters there. Going back into the bullets on off, I'm turning them off, back on, and this button has a drop down as well for different types of bullets. 
looks like we've got the large solid circular bullets. We can go to the smaller ones, change these to squares, check boxes, arrows. I'll go back to the large circular bullets. And down on the bottom here, there's more bullets. We'll look at this in a future tutorial. I want to add one more slide to this presentation and I want it to be a copy of our title slide. I'm going to right click on that, copy, come down to the bottom, right click, paste. And I also could have gone into insert, duplicate slide and move that down. I could have right clicked and duplicate the slide, moved it down. In LibreOffice Impress, there's many ways to do the same thing. The right way is the one that works best for you. Instead of saying LibreOffice Impress, I want to make this say, thank you. A lot of times you think when you're done typing, just press enter. This adds in another line. We don't want that. I hit the backspace. And when we're done typing, we click off the text. So there's our simple presentation, but it's looking kind of bland. I want to add some color to this. I'm going to click on one of our bullet slides and come over to master pages. Now this is showing us preparing preview. If I click off and then back on, we see our preview. I'm going to put my arrow over one of these and I see this one's called bright blue. Down at the bottom, we see default master slide. If I click on the bright blue, it changed the slide to be bright blue. Actually, it changed all of our slides to be bright blue. And down in the master slide, it still says default. I actually need to click off this to see this change to bright blue. So we see our title of the slide is in blue. If I pick one of these others, I'm going to click on inspiration. Again, we see the title is highlighted with the green, but on our opening slide and closing slide, this master slide doesn't work so well. So for these slides, I want a different master slide. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the two slides that I want to change the master slide for. So I'm going to hold down control and click. And then I'm going to come down and right click on this abstract green. I want to apply to selected slides. And we see that changes it. But I don't like the green background on the text. To change that, I need to select the text but actually I want to select the text box. So I need to click on that line. Now we've got the blue dots. Now I can come over to properties. I'm going to the area and I want to change the color. I'll make this a gradient and I want to change this to tango yellow. I'm also going to do this for our last slide. Click in there, click on the box, change the color to a gradient, and make this tango yellow. So there we have it, our simple presentation. I want to save our new ODP-04, A Simple Doc Part 2. And in the next video, we're going to look at viewing this document as a slideshow. If you like these videos, please tell a friend.